with another video and today I wanted to share a shabby altered box that I made and so I've never actually made one of these things before so it was quite interesting um, it was super fun to make but it was different for me because I usually like making things that are like exact and stuff like that and with making like an altered shabby box you kind of have to be um, I don't know kind of like rough with it and like be free and like just accept that like not everything is going to be perfect so um, this is a box that I swapped with uh, my buddy Jenny. Hey Jenny! And so I'll show you the finished finished product. So it looks like this. So I'm quite proud of it because I've never made one of these things before. Um, and so I took pictures of the process. So I'll insert them in as I'm talking about it. So originally I was going to use like a wooden box. Um, but for some reason, like... I didn't like the hardware on it because it was gold hardware and I wasn't sure how I was going to incorporate the gold into it. So I decided to go with a paper box from Michaels and um, it just opens up like this and I have the goodies inside there already so I won't open it up all the way. But this box, um, I'll insert the picture here, um, just started off um, with like a Paris motif in it. So I thought that was good because I just sewed it first in white. And of course, some of the images show through. So you can see up front, you can see like a faded bike back there. Um, and it was fine with me because I picked a box that I liked the design. So if it showed through the gesso, um, it would just be part of the design. And so I also use modeling paste. And I use like a Teresa Collins Damask um, stencil. Um, which was a little... Um, difficult to work with because it was thin. I think it's for scrapbooking, not really for like altered art type stuff. But um, I did use, I do, I do have texture around the box so you can kind of see the damask right, right here. And I have it all throughout the top, um, which is hard to see because of my lighting. And then um, I have it like on every side. So you can see it more clearly here. Um, and I really like the texture the um, modeling paste made. And then I also wanted to add um, just more texture because this is a huge box. And when I had purchased it, I'm like, oh, it's not too big. And I can fit a lot of goodies inside it. But it's a really big canvas, so it was quite... Um, daunting <laughs> to make sure that every area of it was decorated so I sort of added this like old texture with the corrugated um, cardboard and you just have to tear it up and it does not have to be perfect and so what I did was I um, painted the cardboard first and I made sure it was dry I heat set it before I adhered it to the box um, because again you don't want to since this is made out of paper the box you don't want to put a lot of medium on top of it because the box will start to fall apart um, it's really better to alter a wood box because the wood can take all the moisture and stuff so I was very careful to like when I put a layer of gesso to heat set it and then you know another layer heat set it and then I did a little bit of distressing with some darker paint heat set it and um, just to make sure the box was dry like at all times so I tore this corrugated I gessoed it and then I dried it and then I adhered it to the box with hot glue so all four sides sort of have this corrugated texture on it and I have it on the back here as well and then there's another damask and then um, I also really love the Prima white resin pieces. I think they're so great and then also match the box. So I have a couple of corners here and then I have this really cute frame here. And this is from Elf and Do, who's Linda. Hey, Linda. And I know Linda's friends with Jenny, so it's kind of cool that, um, you know, it's kind of like I use like Linda's thing that she gave me for Jenny's box. And then I also have another Prima piece behind this flower and I also had these I totally like used up my stash um, which is great because I've been trying to so I had these like white butterflies 
from, I believe, Melissa Francis. So I used all of them on each side. Um, and I think it goes really well. It looks like it's part of the box and stuff. And then I, you know, of course, added bling and stuff like that. And this, um, this flower piece I put in the middle so it would look like a latch. Um, I got from Forever 21, and it was part of this big giant necklace, which I just totally fell in love with. I love the color and everything, and um, I just loved it. And so I just took out one of the flowers from this necklace. It's like you just have to cut the, the link that attaches it to the necklace, and it has this like flat, so it's easy to adhere to things. And so I put that in the middle there, and then... Um, that's all I did. I really just uh, made sure the box was sort of distressed. So when I, didn't, when I painted the box, I just stippled it with a sponge so it would create texture. And then um, I also added this piece of hardware in the back, which I think is totally cool. I've been saving this piece for a long time, like for the perfect project. So I was able to do that. And then toward the end, like, I was, like, over the perfection thing. So I literally whipped out a butter knife and I was <laughs> sticking the modeling paste and, you know, butter and knifing it into the um, corrugated so it would have, like, a lot more texture. And um, I just added some flowers. And so um, I loved, I just wanted to have it like a pink pastel theme, but I did add like a neutral color in here just to balance it out. And I really love the flowers I used. Um, these flowers right here are like some of my favorites and they're from Wild Orb Kid Crafts. And I just, these are my favorites. These are the um, trellis roses in the one and three eighths inch size and it's fm-00486 um that particular one but they're the one and three eighths inch trellis roses and i just i love the size of them and i love the shape of the roses and then another thing that i really loved using was the um these are the st1s from um i am roses and i had got these from a design team package and they're stamen and these particular ones come in white and it looks like that and it's like beaded sort of each stamen is beaded and so I really liked the texture that that added so I added them like throughout the box as filler so I have it right here and right here I just really love the look of it um, here and here um, and there's some Prima flowers with the diamond dust. And for each of the flowers, I did um, tip the ends with gesso, just so it could have that like wintry sort of frosted look on all of them. And I also took out the green leaves because it was just too dark and um, I just wanted the flowers just to look like wintry and stuff like that. So I took out the green and I tip the ends in white. And then of course you have to add a butterfly to everything. And I really love this one. I think this one's a recollections one. And it, it's so cute. It has like a polka dot like layering on top and it has beads and glitter and stuff like that. So that is my altered shabby box. Um, I hope you like it, Jenny. I worked really hard on it. Um, it was super fun. I mean, like I said, I really enjoy making um, projects that are like exact and you know measured and stuff but this is really um, just a project that like made itself because I just kept um, adding textures and stuff like that so there's my project I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys later bye guys